Hi, it's James. So this uh, is a very quick video about the uh, 3D, 2D to 3D sort of converter and viewer add-in for Draw. Um, so this is in the chemistry menu. I've chosen something which is uh, this is currently flat. Now part of this is it adds uh, integrations with. You can choose a, a which which viewer you want to use. So. Um, you can choose either JMOL or Aswin. Uh, so there is 3D settings here, um, and you can configure both JMOL or Aswin, but you choose which 3D viewer you want to actually use. Um, uh, both work. Um, and then the behind the scenes, this this uh, add-in uses uh, an application which was the result of a which 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 one of the, which one of the results of a Finnish uh, PhD student um, was uh, wrote this program called Balloon, um, and it's 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 the thing that's doing the energy minimization. Um, it's uh, of course not not formally supported this tool. It's just a, a fun 3D visualizer, and that's all it should be used for. Um, okay, so with with those settings in mind. Um, what I'll demonstrate first of all is that this is currently completely flat. Um, so if I go to the chemistry menu, I can. Uh, oh, this is part of the add-in as well. I can do this push to JMOL or push to Raswin, depending on what I've got configured. It will it will pick up uh, what's set. So that is flat. Okay. I'm going to exit JMOL and then I'm going to go back in the chemistry menu and do this uh, convert 2D to 3D. So this is balloon in the background performing some energy minimization, and at the end it gives you a, an energy minimization result, and then it asks you if you want to view the resulting 3D molecule in JMOL or Raswin, depending on what you've got configured, um, and I can say yes there. It adds it to the canvas, and also I get the result in JMOL, and it's now nicely. Uh, Minimized and it's the football shape that you'd expect uh, Buckminster Fullerene to be. Um, so, a couple minor points about this add-in. It was I wrote it a long time ago. Um, there are a couple of things I would probably improve, particularly in the area of the configuration screen. So, uh, these trailing slashes are important. I, I was. Uh, I was still learning .NET when I wrote this, so I didn't know about things like the path object and path.combine. Um, so yeah, it's, these are just literally taken as strings, and um, so those trailing slashes are important, otherwise it won't find the, the right place in the path. Uh, also, jmol.bat. So that's something I've created in the jmol folder. You obviously need to get Raswin and jmol and download them separately. If I go to the jmol folder, I've created this batch file, um, and if I go and look inside it, it is, is simply that uh, code there to uh, to make the uh, the JMOL application run. Obviously, this needs Java. Um, Raswin is a bit older and it's less maintained, but it doesn't require Java. Um, and I'm, as far as I'm aware, it still works. We can have a quick try if you like. Um, so if I just change that to say Rasmol and say OK, then I can um, highlight oh, highlight this structure again. So that's the thing we want to do the minimization on. Chemistry, uh, convert 2D to 3D. And this time we should ask if we want to view in Rasmol. And there it is in Rasmol. Uh, and you've also you've got all the kind of uh, options in there for ball and stick and what have you. So there's ball and stick display. Um, and we can put that on the canvas. So yeah, and that also turns the uh, push to JMOL is now pushed to Raswin. So you've got that ability to uh, okay, put all three things in there. Um, and that's it. Okay, so. I, I'm quite happy to share this with you. Um, it's uh, like I say, it's use at your own risk, but it is a nice little tool for a simple 3D visualization. All right, thanks for listening.